I think I was fairly typical for a guy. I didn't want to go dancing, and I didn't look forward to the prospect of dancing with a stranger. So my wife basically dragged me along the first time. We've been loving it and going just about every day to either a dance lesson or an, or an open dance since then. So uh, her blood pressure's come down, my weight's gone down. Um, we're having a great time and meeting a whole new group of people. dance a lot in junior high and high school and uh, you know just school dances and the armory dances and in uh, Pendleton Oregon and it wasn't uh, formal dancing it was just wiggle your body on the dance floor dancing but uh, I, I've never been shy so I grew up in Montana and I didn't go to any dances I went to a little tiny school where we didn't have prom or anything so when I went to college and was screwing around in the halls somebody said you can't dance so I was a little intimidated to come here because I thought I couldn't dance and it's actually been really fun yeah, I think I think in the past we would have been doing movies or, you know, go out to dinner and just sit and eat and that sort of thing. And instead we're getting a little exercise, having a little more fun. Um, yeah. And we definitely. came to one of the dances here on a Saturday night with another couple. And it was a blast. We couldn't dance most of the dances, but we got out there and tried and had a lot of fun and realized, you know, there's so much more to learn. I did a little bit of martial arts when I was younger. And so it's similar in the fact that you have to memorize like a series of moves and obviously put your body in different positions. But after you get the hang of it, I think it just gets easier. And uh, when you can stop thinking about the basics, it's a lot more fun just to go out and dance. Because I'd never done anything like it before. And I've seen my confidence increase a lot just in this class, but also in daily life because um, dancing just it takes a lot of confidence and it takes a lot of trust in your partner. So those things and um, it really makes it also fun for us to do it together. I started dancing about six months ago and the reason I did it was for actually two reasons. Um, I have brain trauma from a car accident and I have a rare form of arthritis called ankylosing spondylitis. What I really like about the lessons is the fact that they break down the components. Um, one of the issues that I had was I could never follow another dancer. So the way that they break the lessons down, they make them um, simple to follow, uh, smaller components, and then they build on that foundation. And it's really exciting that after five, six weeks, you're actually dancing. It's very safe, you know, as a single woman to be able to come here and socialize with both men and women and know that it's not intimidating and um, you just get to really enhance the skills that you're learning in the dance class and it's a fun social environment. My name is Charlie Williams and I'm a newbie. I've had five lessons so far. I always wanted to dance but I never felt like I was graceful and we the last time we really danced together was when we got married. Uh, frustrating at first because it's like the brain, eye, hand, foot coordination and you just want to be able to do it and you just don't know that to get to that breakthrough you have to do the practice and you have to learn all, all the steps that you learn it but it's, it's I think uh, repetition is the mother of skill so I'm finding the more I'm doing it and the more I'm, I'm getting it and the more I'm retaining it so I figure eventually this is going to go good. <laughs> also uh, mm -hmm. dancing too is kind of uh, uniting your brain and your body you know it's a good workout and it's good for your mind because it gives your brain a stir, you're, you're learning something new and it's a good way to shake off like the winter blues. Well, I come from a sports background, and so um, I did a lot of activity when I was young, but I always wanted to do dance, so I thought it was a perfect opportunity. My kids are a little older, and get out of the house and do what I've always, always wanted to do. You have to be in the moment when you're dancing. You can't think about what you're doing tomorrow or what you've done yesterday. You're just right there with somebody, you know, your partner, in that moment, and so it's just a great escape almost just a great you can just be having fun and nothing else <laughs> is there so. um, well actually um, we decided to get married and um, I didn't want our first dance just to be standing there rocking back and forth 
So I started looking online for places to go to take dance lessons, and I realized that the barn was here. We did two first dances at our wedding. Um, so we did a waltz and we did a swing dance. And we just wanted to keep taking dance lessons. It's fun, it's something we like to do together, both on the same level. The comments I got from the wedding, they like that was the highlight, our dances. They were, I still love watching the replays. Um, people are um, cheering and you know, it's it was, we did a little show actually is what we did. And it was, yeah, it was the highlight of the wedding. It was great. <laughs> Everybody wants to do that kind of thing, first dance, fat wedding and stuff. It's not something you can get done in a... Six weeks. <laughs> six weeks or three weeks no. or whatever, yeah. you know, if you really want to do it, and do it right. Right. The sooner you can think about it, get it started, the better. Yeah. Waltz, we took a whole section of waltz and then we did a whole section of swing and then we did like mm, 10 or 11 private dance lessons with Jeanette to choreograph our dances. So. We just fell in love with Jeanette and her teaching. You know, and it's something that we can do together forever. You know? Sure. So I'm Vic Aquino and I'm 63 years old. And I'm Mary Aquino, and I'm also 63. I, I had promised Mary that when the kids went off to college, because we have twins, and they're going to leave at the same time, so... Um, and I was devastated. Yeah, so we knew we were going to have empty nest syndrome big time. So, so he promised to take dance lessons. I and did. And reluctantly started and fell in love with dancing. She did. Well, you did too. Eventually. Otherwise, you wouldn't be dancing. Well, eventually I fell in love, but I hated it at first, because I'd never done, really done it before. <laughs> If you want to progress as a dancer, you really have to switch partners because then you really have to lead. You can't rely on your, your partner, your usual partner, to sort of bail you out or, or sort of um, you know, co-lead or whatever. But, but we then, met lots of people. Yeah, we did. We, we met lots of uh, good people and you know, it got to be more and more fun. And of course, as I got better, um, then I started to like it more. And then you know, now it's to the point where if we don't dance, on the weekend, you know, then I, I feel bad. I, I mean, I, I just there, feel there right. There are weeks of, we go dancing like four times a week. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So. My right knee is actually a replacement knee. But, um, you know, it's better if I dance. If I don't dance, it actually hurts my mm -hmm. knees a lot more. So that's what, another reason why I continue to dance is that you know, it's actually better for my health and I feel better, my, my knees feel better. It's and so even though you have some physical limitations, you can still dance when you can't do other sports that you love. You know, it's just a, it's a physical activity that sort of has replaced the things that I can no longer do. I can no longer play basketball. I used to play basketball at, at my school. Um, and I used to do pickleball and you know things like that, but it's just impossible for me to do those things anymore because I'm blind in one eye and, and because of my knees. So this is a really good substitute. You know, it keeps me healthy. You know, it's aerobic um, and it's just a blast. Probably, you know, in our future, and it's something that we're going to continue to do. I'm going to do it as long as my you know body lets me. Well, I received a gift, which was country dance lessons 20 years ago, and I kind of rolled my eyes and said, I'm sure, but I went, it was right by my house, I went and took the lesson, had a great time, been doing it ever since. My name's Alex, I'm 22 years old, and I started dancing because my friend Elliot got me into it. Dancing has become really fun. The more you learn, the more you want to dance, and it's a great time. My girlfriend likes to dance, and so I'm trying to learn to catch up with her. Most of my friends think it's pretty cool. They are a little bit jealous, if I do say so, but 
I think that that's definitely something you gotta step up and really own. My name's Elliot, I'm 22 and a student at University of Washington, and I've just started learning how to East Coast swing. I originally got into it because it was a bet from my dad to learn how to dance. Normally I wouldn't really say I'm like much of a dancer. This is kind of like, this is new for me. I'm broadening my horizons. So it's definitely been a fun thing. Definitely not something normal for me by any means. Yeah. I danced for a lot of years. I danced salsa, but when, uh, when Matt came along and we got married, I stopped dancing and then he decided that we should learn to dance together. Yay. So yeah, and then we started with the waltz, um, did country rounds, uh, now we're doing the East Coast Swing, so. And sweating. <laughs> it's just a wonderful place. It's like another date night for us that we had. So we have classes and then dance on Friday. So that's usually our two dates for the week, which is awesome for us as a couple. So. We're never alone at home. There are always, you know, several million children around and other people so coming out here and spending some time grown-up time by ourselves is really wonderful. I'm Robert Fletcher I'm 68 years old and I have been dancing for probably 17 or 18 years. Before that I would have said I wasn't a dancer. Um, I like line dancing. I get, I get flubbed up every now and then, but that's okay. Take lessons Tuesday morning, Thursday morning, and come to dances on Fridays. And this is the place. My name is Denise, and I've been dancing for uh, about a year. I started in January of this year. And my dad used to dance all the time, and I've heard that he was an excellent dancer, but unfortunately he never taught us kids. And so I've wanted to learn for many years. I started with West Coast Swing, um, Country Two Step. Uh, I learned the Hustle Flash Mob, have performed it several times. That was a lot of fun. And I am learning East Coast Swing, loved it so much, I'm now taking the second level. Physical activity is nice. Um, the physical touch is nice. It's not too intimate. <laughs> um, gets me out of the house. Started dancing because I, I want to uh, learn social dancing, uh, be able to go to different affairs such as weddings or something, be able to dance and feel comfortable dancing. Uh, Met somebody dancing and we like dancing, so I'm gonna probably keep dancing. Right. Started practice together. And you know, one thing led to another, and finally, after practice, we might go to dinner or something, and then we started chatting. And one thing led to another, we're now engaged. And my name is Frank Boast. Uh, my age is 61, and I've been dancing for a year and a half. Now. My younger brother, Pat, was married about a year ago, and I'm the older brother, so I thought I need to, I really need to learn how to dance for this wedding. Well, it, it's good exercise and it's also good for my mind. I mean really the, to learn the different steps and different patterns. I don't always get it the first time, maybe not even the second time, so I need to practice, I need to take notes, I need to work at it, and it's and it's so much fun to do. So it, it is, it's physical, it's mental, and it's fun. I, I can't think of a, a, a better activity for anyone. I dance seven days a week. I dance eight, but there's only seven days in a week. Try it. Don't be afraid, you know, whether you have a partner or not. You'll find the right venue. You'll, you'll, they'll find a partner for you. And in many of these group lessons, you know, we're going down the line and exchanging partners all the time with, you know, better partners that dance with me and, and people that are a little less experienced than myself. So we all learn every time we come, we come out. It's just a lot of fun. Join us.
everybody should dance. Um, it's it's so energizing and it um, keeps us fit and young and at least 30% more attractive. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, One of the best things I've ever learned how to do. I'm really glad I did it. Dance has made a really big difference in my life and I would recommend it to anyone, even guys. Oh my gosh, if you're thinking about it, do it. <laughs>